I think the Terrell sky space is really just spectacular. When I first saw the designs for it and the rendering, I said, if this is half as good as this looks, uh, it'll be spectacular. And it's so much better than that. I, I just think we're so indebted to Suzanne Veal Booth and to James Terrell. This is really an important addition to our campus. This, this piece of art, along with the other artworks on our campus, are part of what was envisioned for this campus from the founding. The campus has to play its role in inspiring our students. And I don't think anything can do that better than this new sky space on our campus. Having this here is just, it complements the campus in so many ways to the other buildings that are here, but it adds kind of another dimension. It's unlike some of, I mean, many of his other spaces in that it's a combination music venue and its positioning on the campus makes it feel like a, you, you go to this space and you have this integral experience, which is light, sound at times and of course atmospheric, and you can walk through it. I think uh, my experience of it, I, 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 the, the, see, the light programs are exquisite. I think people are going to really enjoy those at sunrise and sunset. And uh, I look forward to getting feedback from people who do experience. I think it's phenomenal. The sound in the space is incredible. It's gonna be wonderful for pure sort of chamber music, acoustic kinds of performances. The, the electronic, playback and the digital analog uh, sort of capability for, for creation of electronic music. The equipment is, is also state of the art and it sounds wonderful in the space. So we've got ourselves, um, we've got ourselves something that is unlike any other James Terrell sky space in the world, quite frankly. And uh, we're just incredibly fortunate to have it in such close proximity to the Shepherd School and to be now a, a new and unique venue for the Shepherd School. One of the most profound things about this work of art, the Sky Space by James Terrell, is that it's calculated to create an experience for viewers, both in the morning at sunrise and in the evening at sunset. So you are, you're captured with the light sequence that the artist has created that calculates and coordinates with the actual arc of the sun. There's a lot of power in that. The fact that you're inside a space and that you're experiencing the art, there's so many different colors that you're seeing. You're looking through an aperture in the roof to basically infinity. There's a lot of freedom in that. Uh, it lets one's imagination go. It's just an experience that's so beautiful and that you really do have to experience for yourself. It kind of feels like you're in a dream. Uh, with the lights and the colors, like the gradient and the ceiling changing, and then you kind of stare at the sky as it changes, like as the sun sets or the sun rises. It's really interesting. It was amazing. It's just you have, you're surrounded by all these different colors. It goes from like orange to blue to yellow. It was just really awesome being surrounded by everything. There's like a bench out there. You just sit up there and you just look up. There's a, a square to look out the, into the sky, but you're just surrounded by color. I'd never been into something like that before. It was awesome. It's such a fitting symbol for our centennial. This is really, I think, going to be the symbol of our, our centennial. It embodies Edgar O'Dell Lovett's commitment to beauty on our campus and what we, what we do in terms of our education. So this is going to be a great symbol of Rice University.